in Pretoria. For more, we're joined by EFF Member of Parliament, uh, Yuliswa Iako. Very good evening to you. Thank you so much for your time. Now, this new bill has sent shockwaves uh, across various parts of the world. We know that it's been described as a law that lays a basis for hatred, which really is what homophobia is. Uh, talk to us about uh, some of the initiative the, the EFF has been taking. Um, uh, as you've said, um, basically this is a basic, um, it's a very gross human rights violation. Um, at this point, we should not uh, be a, a party to that, and we should always condemn it in whichever spaces that we can. Um, EFF, EFF is anti-homophobia. Um, it advocates for the LGBTQI plus community. Um, and to us, this is really a step backwards, and it speaks to perhaps a lack of understanding, a lack of knowledge from African leaders uh, into what basic human rights are. Um, so we are calling um, that the president not sign this bill into, into law. Uh, we are calling for him to educate his cabinet on to the ramifications of this bill and how much that hatred can go far and take us back as a, con as a country in Uganda and as a continent in Africa. Um, we are basically protesting for the human rights of the LGBTQI plus community in Uganda, and we are in solidarity with them in saying that um, we will be your voice wherever we are, and we will speak for you, and we will assist you in any way we can. Yeah, because already just looking at reports, we know that anxiety is rising within the Ugandan yeah. LGBTQ uh, community. There's a big panic. Members of uh, Uganda's gay community are already making plans to flee the country. Yeah, I mean, imagine being, uh, uh, um, I mean, it, 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 as, 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 as South Africans, it should be, a normal default function to fight for others. You know, when we were under apartheid regime, many countries fought and, and housed us. Many countries secured us and made sure to protect us. So it's our role also to protect others who are oppressed and under these circumstances. And as EFF, we're always on the part of the marginalized and the oppressed and we'll do whatever it takes to protect and be their voice wherever we can. Because, you know, a true freedom is not achieved if all of us are not free. Yeah. Because, yeah, it's, it's important because there are already fears that this legislation is likely to lead to an increase in the number of violent assaults in that country where homophobia is entrenched. Because we know, just looking back a little bit at the history, uh, a homosexuality bill was introduced initially in 2009 and that uh, after significant lobbying, that bill was overturned on a technicality in court only for MPs to threaten to bring it back in 2019 and now look at where we're standing. What do you think needs to happen and what are your expectations as you um, will be heading to Uganda's High Commission in Pretoria on Tuesday? Um, basically, I think we have an understanding that uh, perhaps there's a lack of knowledge from African re leaders um, based on prejudices that they may have against the LGBTQI plus community. I mean, even in South Africa, we fight, even though we've got a very uh, advanced laws in terms of, you know, freedom of expression, freedom of sexuality and gender expression and such. Um, uh, however, across Africa, there's such a, a lot of uh, homophobia, a lot of bigotry that, that is happening. And this bill seeks to enforce that and legitimize it. And hence we're saying that, you know, perhaps uh, the president needs to start educating his cabinet on the ramifications of of what uh, gender and sexuality are, and what um, and and how you should allow your people to be free to express themselves in any way they want to, uh, and not oppress their basic human rights to just be. Um, also, look into the legislature legislation into corrective rapes because people, um, when you start putting this kind of laws into power, they start to take advantage of them in a way that then would uh, in invite more hate crimes uh, for anyone who may or may not be expressing themselves with their sexuality or having normal relations. I mean, it shouldn't be that in 2023 we are still advocating for just the basic human right to be. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much. Thanks for weighing in on this discussion. EFF Member of Parliament, Yuli Swa Iako, speaking about uh, the EFF's move, planning to lead a march to, on Tuesday to Uganda's High Commission in Pretoria.